the Wilson sisters and Hart with nothing at all on the news that rocked 86. You know, Ann and Nancy are now working on a film script, and Ann's solo single, The Best Man in the World, is the theme song for Eddie Murphy's new film, The Golden Child. Genesis made an impression in 1986 is an understatement. It's more like an indelible stamp. Mike Rutherford starred in his own successful solo project, Mike and the Mechanics. Tony Banks worked on film soundtracks. Phil Collins wrapped up a successful solo tour of the world and then went on to perform in one capacity or another on albums ranging from Eric Clapton to Lionel Richie. But together as Genesis, they released a number one album in 1986, Invisible Touch. While Phil Collins is considered by many to be the sound and creative force behind the band, he's quick to point out that that is not the case. The only similarity between my albums and Genesis albums is that I'm singing on them. The group albums are very much the three of us individually, and if there's any... I mean, the, the only similarity is the fact that I'm playing the drums and, and singing them. And I, I think it's, um, you know, it's, it should be put straight. That, uh, you know, the, the group's a group, and it's, uh, it's a group, and it's a very democratic unit. Who is out 